Hi, we're here live on East Campus for the annual class photo, which has become a Duke tradition. We will be streaming live, interviewing students, and covering live events as the class photo is taken. So if you are with us on social, or social media, make sure to visit the Duke University Facebook page to leave comments. We have a full week of activities for our, our first years to participate in and get to bond with their class before classes start. And we have everything from floats and bouncy houses and whatnot to carnivals and concerts. It's great. So one of my favorite memories from my own orientation week was all of the fabulous facts who came in to move all of the stuff from my car, which we did successfully yesterday with 1,739 students successfully being moved in. So you are welcome to all of you listening. <laughs> yeah, I still look back on my first year and wonder what all the facts thought when I moved in, but I'm not really sure I want to know. <laughs> so this year we have 1,739 different students from, dif from 49 different states and 80 different countries. Um, sadly, North Dakota did not represent this year. We have 46% of the incoming class that are students of color, 13% are international students, 11% are first generation college students, and 231 students from countries outside of the United States. So it sounds like we are getting started over there. I don't know if somebody on the field wants to kind of give us a brief update of what's going on. There's a lot of first years milling about, trying to get in line for 2017. Um, hopefully the rain will hold out and we'll be able to, you know, take this picture. Um, but I've got a lot of first years that are pretty excited, pretty pumped to be in this photo. Um, I have one next to me. And well, what's your name? Quick? Hi, I'm Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. And where are you from? What am I being interviewed for? It's just going to be it's the broadcast for the picture. City. And uh, what are you? What's exciting about Duke to you? Um, I'm very excited and interested in Duke and Gabe. Oh, very cool. Do you have a place in mind you might want to go, or? Not really. I just open to helping anywhere. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks, Gabby. Nice to talk to you. Um, it looks like we've got another crowd, you know, milling over, getting in line. Sounds good. Thanks, Becky. We'll bring it back to Danny. He now has a first year to interview. Yes, I do. Guys, sorry for the technical difficulties earlier. I'm here. Chris Coughlin from San Diego. Awesome. So, Chris, it's been a fun week so far. You've had a couple days to move in. You're in your freshman dorm. Now you have the picture. What has been your favorite moment of this so far? Uh, I got to do my engineering meeting today, and I'm really excited for the small classes, and just I'm ready to get started. So what do you think this week that you haven't had an opportunity to do yet that you're looking forward to? I mean, we got Carnival back here. we got the picture. You have all these new friends to make, all these classes. What are you looking forward to most? I'm looking forward to seeing more of Durham. I mean, I've stayed mostly on campus for most of it, so I feel like there's a lot more to explore and see, so I'm really excited for all that. Well, we'll let you get to the class picture, guys. Thanks. Go back to you. Well, it's really interesting you mentioned the small classes. I mean, uh, we definitely have a great ratio here. It's actually 8 to 1 students to faculty ratio, so you can get some really good attention in classes and really meet your professors and get to know them really well. And you actually spent the summer in Durham, so do you want to talk about that a little bit? I did. So I was lucky enough to find an internship this summer through the Career Center, and I stayed in Durham. But So it was my first time being in Durham in the summer, and I have to say that I have not appreciated it enough. Um, Durham really is one of the foodiest cities of the South. It definitely deserves its title there. Um, ate some really good food, probably more than I should have. Uh, but definitely a great scene. Loved going to the Durham Bulls parks this summer. They have a great college night on Thursday, so it was really great to see a lot of the, the young people in Durham out during that time. Well, we've got a special guest. It was going to be a student, but now we want to have Duke's very, very famous on Mr. Dwicky. Look at the picture today. It's such a good turnout. It is. Well, of course. I mean, these are fabulous kids. These are great. This is a great moment. This is one of my favorite things at the beginning of the year because you get the class together physically, you know, and to actually spell out their name. And um, it's just so much excitement and energy here today. So you obviously, you've been to a lot of these over the know. years. And, you know, you've seen a bunch of classes, a bunch of different numbers. What do you think is going to make the class of 2017 really stand oh, out? Oh, I know exactly. Here's the question. Is 2017 a prime number? <laughs> I mean, we know 2016 is not divided by two. We know 2018 won't be. What about 2017? I think this is something that people should think about and figure out. Is it a prime number? I think there are plenty of people that can calculate numbers pretty well in this class, <laughs> I'm sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So last question before we get on here. What are you most excited for for this class coming up besides maybe the prime number? Uh, well, I think we're going to win another national championship in lacrosse. I think we got a women's national championship coming out. We're going to have a bunch of Rhodes Scholars coming out of this class. We're going to have fabulous, that potential that I talk about with this class is going to be realized, and it's just going to blow away the world. Brains, academics, 
this class has got everything, guys. And now it looks like we're about to get to the photos, right. so back to you guys. Um, we were just saying, though, that um, Wiki mentioned prime numbers. I'm the class of 2015, so I, I don't think I fall into the prime number category. And Maureen, do you? I'm 2014, so we are unfortunately divisible by two. However, we are still wonderful. And I see that Danny looks like he has another special guest for us. If you want to take uh, it away, Danny. Dean Gonzalez, I guess. So, yes, I'm here with Dean Gonzalez. And, yeah, you can hear the kids. They're already having fun out here, about to take the picture. They're getting pumped up and everything. But, you know, Dean Gonzalez, you've seen a couple of these already. But what do you think of the class of 2017 so far? So far, I'm very impressed. They have great spirit and energy, and it's wonderful to have them here as Blue Devils. Now, have you had a chance to talk to any of the students, maybe see some of those unique personalities that Duke's so famous for? Actually, I had a chance to meet with six of them this afternoon. Um, one was from Germany, one, two were from L.A., one from New York, one was from, uh, oh, somewhere in India. So right there, I think that shows you just how diverse this class is. Very, very diverse. And what do you think is your favorite story so far, besides meeting all of these different students from different areas? My favorite story was actually something that um, Christoph said at the uh, convocation this morning when he talked about the parent who tweeted uh, basically to this year's families that regardless of whether you have a palatial room or a, a small bedroom, your, your child's going to have a great year. And then he said a year ago that same parent tweeted, living in a broom closet about to cry. So <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments just to show how her attitude changed and how she was endorsing Duke for everyone. Well, college is fun for everybody regardless of the size of the room. Thank you so much, Dean Gonzalez, for my coming question. and joining us this evening. Guys, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Danny. And it looks like we'll actually take it over to Becky, who has a great view of the photo actually going on right behind her. If you want to kind of give us the lowdown, what's going on? Yes, as you can see, there's uh, starting to be some organization with the numbers behind me, and the program has started. Um, it looks like one of the coaches is talking from way, way up there above the marketplace. Um, and there's definitely a lot of pep and a lot of energy that's happening around here. Do you remember what number you were in when you were in the photo back your freshman year? I want to say I was in the zero for 2015. I'm going to say I was definitely in the four because I lived in Bassett my freshman year, and that's what neighborhood one goes to. So obviously they saved the best for last in the last number there. <laughs> well, clearly I wasn't paying attention to where the neighborhood should go because I lived in Brown, which is also neighborhood one, mm -hmm. and I made a mistake back then. So <laughs> hopefully um, we have everyone going to the right place tonight so we can have a very seamless photo this year. Yeah. Right. So what was one of your favorite memories from freshman year? I would have to say tenting was probably one of my favorite memories from freshman year. Uh, I actually blue tented, so I slept in a tent for a mentally blocked out number of weeks. Um, and it snowed quite a bit my freshman year, but it was all worth it when we beat Carolina and got to burn all of the benches and see the excitement of the whole school coming together for that one event. The reason that I actually ended up tenting in the first place was uh, there was a game at UNC where we were losing most of the night, and then uh, last minute we made a comeback, and Austin Rivers, I'll never forget this, that three at the buzzer. Seeing the first one was, that was, that was very great, and I always look back to that moment as one of my favorite times. Taking it with Danny? Oh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I couldn't hear you for a sec. So, John Donowski speaking of athletics spoke national championship across team in 2013 in the spring. Right, and now time, Coach three. Cut up there doing one, incredible job. Two, three. I don't know if you can hear the screams, guys, but it's pretty loud. The class of 2017 having a good time. Cheering a lot of Duke cheers. Your spirits are high. And I don't know if you can see behind me here. You have a platform that they were at before. And now all the kids are freaking out over here. It's a fun time. One, They're freshmen. Two, They're having a good time. Three. So back to you guys. <laughs> It's great to see Coach Cutliff. I remember he spoke to us my freshman year as well, and he's done a fantastic job with the football team because I think one of the defining moments of sophomore year, I, I feel like it keeps back to sports, but it, the spirit's great at Duke, and I remember we were actually playing UNC at home on our field, and again, we were losing. Uh, we had, I think, 43 seconds left on the clock, and fourth down, we made a run for it, and then we won the game on a touchdown pass, and we stormed that field that night. So again... Uh, I feel like we really bond over beating UNC and um, <laughs> last minute wins with comebacks and I keep feeling like they de defined my year so I'm hoping for another one this year but hopefully we can beat them the whole game instead of just the last minute because that um, isn't really good for my heart. So Scoreboard <laughs> is all that matters but uh, you know doing Duke, Duke athletics and going to see football and basketball games as well as our other incredible sports teams are just some examples of the great opportunities that Duke has 
Uh, we also have over 400 student-created organizations. Um, there are over 200 domestic and abroad learning opportunities. And just right here in Durham, there are over 1 million hours of community service done by last year's incoming class. So really great opportunities to get involved at Duke, and it all kind of starts right here with the photo. And it's funny you mentioned 400 different student organizations. You wonder, why would someone need more? And yet each year we have more and more springing up, oftentimes made by students themselves. I mean, we're really the ones that spearhead the changes on this campus, and it's great to see where we've gone, where we've come from my freshman year, where this class will go, which I'm sure they'll do just as well and create just as many clubs. And who knows, by the time I graduate, maybe 800 or 1,000. So I'm a little nervous for that, but at the same time, I'm really excited for it to see where it goes. And now we will take it back out to the field with Danny Nolan, who has gotten another fabulous first year to interview. Yes, I have. The jumps are all completed. The photo is now done. Everyone's going back to their dorms. But now, let me introduce... Liza Steffens. Liza, how fun was that? Jumping up and down with all the rest of your class. That was a lot of fun. It was a good experience. A lot of fun. Now, so far, you've been here for a couple days now. You moved in. You had fax help carry stuff up to your room and everything. What has been the most fun thing that you've done so far? Hmm, that's tough. Um, it was fun last night at the carnival game to know everyone because everyone's on the same common ground. So starting to meet all of our classmates was cool. And tonight there actually is another carnival. There's the DU Activities Fair. Are you going to stop by over there and maybe have some fun over there and play those games? Sure, of course. All right. Short and sweet. That's awesome, guys. Back to you in the studio. I remember the DU event my freshman year. And if I recall correctly, they had the gator out there, which is, I think, the world's largest water slide, or the world's largest inflatable water slide. I have to regret to say that I didn't get to go in it myself. For some reason or another, I found myself on the steps of Lily talking to another first year who I hit it off with at the carnival. But what about you? Did you attend your first year? I actually don't remember the carnival too much, but... I mean, a week my freshman year seems so long ago, unfortunately, but still remember some good times, and it looks like Danny might actually have another person to talk to us about their first year experience so far. Guys, just like every Duke student, they want to try new things, they want to get, get out and volunteer to do things, and now I have another person to interview, and I am interviewing. Hi, uh, I'm Casper. I'm Casper. Now, Casper came up to me, the reason he came up, guys, he goes, hey, you know, is there a TV network that we should join? And now that we're doing a live broadcast, we absolutely can interview him. So what has been the most fun thing that you've, that you've done thus far here on campus? Oh, oh, God, that is, that's difficult. Um, you know, that thing last night, the carnival, was, that was pretty good. You know, just running around trying to meet new people. I think I said hi to probably 200 people, and then I still look around right now, and I don't recognize anybody. Yeah, the key is, how many of those names do you actually remember? Uh, I, I remember the girls' names. That's, <laughs> that's my goal for this week. Right, that's pretty good. So, you're a Duke student. You're here. It's your yeah. freshman year. It's very exciting. What are you looking forward to most in your Duke career? Maybe it's the next month. Maybe it's the next four years. Okay, so I want to I wanna start a company. But other than that, it's just like, it, it's mind-blowing. You can't really look forward to anything because everything is just like, your life's changed so much. This is the first time I'm going to be living alone. So I don't, it's not that I'm looking forward to anything in particular so much as I'm excited to see what's going to happen to me, like what I'm going to want to do, what I'm actually going to end up doing. Guys, I don't know if there could have been a better answer to that question. Thank you so much for joining us, Casper. Back to you guys in the studio. Great. Thanks, Danny. You know, it's not surprising to hear some great ambitions there. It's very common at Duke. We have some brilliant minds here going great, great places. And you know, he mentioned something how he, he said he met like 200 different students last night, and yet he still sees more. And that's one thing that I found amazing about the place where, you know, it's, it's about 8,000 undergraduates, and it's not the largest campus by any means. But each time I walk down the quad or I go from place to place, I run into someone new that I haven't met before. And right when you think you've met new people, you have a brand new class come in, and you have another 1,700 students that you can't wait to meet and more and more brilliant minds. I just, it's really a treat to be here at Duke and be surrounded with such people. Yeah, absolutely. And I remember Orientation Week just being one of the best opportunities to shamelessly meet every single person that you possibly can. Um, and it's just, it has been such an incredible experience so far, and I can't wait to have one more year left of doing it. Yeah. And uh, now uh, you want to head back to Becky in the field to show us what's going on? Hi guys, uh, so the picture is over and the program has ended. We were lucky enough to get it in between the raindrops. Um, even now, uh, it's still sprinkling. But uh, we lined up and we did our thing. There were some shouts. There was a Go to Hell Carolina in there that I heard. So uh, I think it worked out really well. Awesome, awesome. You know, Go to Hell Carolina is something that will be part of your vocabulary for a <laughs> long time here at Duke and hopefully after Duke as well. I know I still meet people that 
uh, either frown or smile a lot when I see that I go to Duke. I, I love the smiles, of course, and I guess we're really lucky. Unfortunately, we're going to be wrapping up this program soon, but it's just the start of another great year, and we're glad you're here with us. And it's nice to see that none of the freshmen have melted in the rain, uh, but we have successfully gotten our photo off. And thank you so much to our In the Field reporters. It's great to see some happy Duke faces and getting all the first years in, and welcome to the new school. I think we've got one more interview coming up. Oh, okay, right. one more. Let's, Let's hear, hear it. Yes. Hello. So, Ben Bam. <laughs> all right, we've got our last interviewee. Uh, and what is your name? Hey, my name is Chris Hilbert. All right, and what did you think of all the happenings that were going on at East Campus today? Well, as director of photography at Duke and the uh, guy behind this picture for, oh, since 1998, I think it went swimmingly well, especially with the pending storms. We got it in. <laughs> we didn't have to call a rain day. Everybody, including the entire class of 2017, pitched in and made it. That's right. Ended on a super positive note. Thank you very much. Well, all right, back well, to you guys. Great. Thanks so much, Becky. And we thank so much to all the photography staff, to all the coaches, and to all the people corralling everyone into those 2017 letters. But I think with that, we will be signing out from the studios so. here. Thank you guys so much. We loved having you guys, and looking forward to another great year. Welcome, class of 2017.